I started using WSJTX a while back, and I really liked this program. But one thing that annoyed me was I had to import my QSOs from here into HRD Log. I started looking around for a solution, and I found JT Alert. JT Alert is a neat little program, and it does much more than automatic logging. So this video is on installing WS, JTX, and JT Alert. Okay, I'm going to do a clip here for my friend John, NQ4A, out in Virginia. John has a ICOM 7300 and uh, trying to get JT65 going. Uh, this is, uh, I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible, but uh, uh, on the uh, JT65, uh, you, you need to uh, have your computer time uh, synced uh, uh, with a time server, and I use NetTime. Uh, you can download it from this page. Uh, if you go to my website, uh, k0pir.us, You'll see the links to uh, all of these programs and uh, maybe a little bit more information. Uh, so uh, install NetTime or something similar and uh, get it going first. Uh, the next thing you want to do, and I, I, I like WSJTX. Uh, one, because it's a simple program, it works really well. And uh, it will do whisper mode, and I like trying uh, whisper mode. Uh, it does uh, JT9, JT65 really well. Uh, you can download it from this page, and again, I'll put the uh, links below. Uh, so if you if you get this installed, uh, then the uh, other program that we're uh, showing in this video is JT Alert, and uh, JT Alert is really helpful. Uh, what it does is logs uh, program uh, logs of QSOs. Uh, from WSJTX into Ham Radio Deluxe Logbook. And it'll do uh, other logs too. It will do automatic logging to AC Log, uh, DX Lab, uh, the DX Keeper, and uh, a couple other ones in there, a few other ones. Uh, so it's really helpful in that. But it also uh, uh, does audio and visual alerts. And, uh, you know, things that I'm looking for are U.S. states and DXCC uh, and uh, continents. So uh, it, it's been really fun to, to work with. So I'm going to do uh, just a short uh, uh, installation here of these. Um, from this webpage, hamapps.com, uh, after you have WSJTX installed, uh, you want to go here and you need to install these in order. Uh, the, the best thing to do is uh, take a look at the page, and it does have uh, the install instructions for a, for a first install of JT Alert. And uh, you want to download the uh, Ham Apps JT Alert. Uh, right now they're at 2.8.7. Uh, and then install it, and then there's a couple of uh, programs that go along with it. And uh, one of them is... Uh, the uh, database files, and the other one is the sound. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, and download uh, uh, JT Alert, the setup for it. And uh, all you have to do is uh, click on the, the download link. And it's a little bit slow, but uh, it, it'll get going here and uh, download to the computer. And then uh, once this... Uh, is installed you can uh, uh, go down and install uh, the database download and install it so we got that one and I already have these installed on my laptop but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, uh, do this again I selected uh, open when done and uh, maybe my computer scanning that file. There it is. Uh, this will install Ham Apps uh, JT Alert. Just click Yes. And I only want the JT Alert 
for WSJTX. So I'm going to uh, take the check marks out of these boxes. And I just have the one. And I just use the default location. And there it is. And the first support file is the database. Click on the download link there. And then I'm going to select open when done. Just do the install of it. And the last one is the ham apps sound. I'm going to download it. Downloads are a little bit faster than they uh, were the other day. And I'm going to choose the female voice. Okay, so that's uh, all set up. So uh, I'm assuming that you have a, a WSJTX already installed. And uh, now we have uh, JT Alert installed. And uh, JT Alert has a uh, support uh, group on Yahoo. It's the uh, Yahoo Groups. And it's uh, Ham Apps by VK3AMA. And uh, you'll be able to find it just by searching the Yahoo groups. Just uh, search for ham apps. Okay, after you have WSJTX installed and then JT Alert installed, uh, let's go in and open up uh, WSJTX. And I've already been using uh, the program, so it's already set up. You'll see the waterfall. Uh, the ICOM 7300, I have the, uh, the mode set to USB. D. I'm on uh, 20 meters and I'm using uh, filter 1 which is a pretty wide filter I think it's about 3k wide so there's nobody on right now it's too early in the morning but uh, the first place you want to go is file and settings and on the general tab you'll enter your call sign and uh, grid square and I believe the, the rest of this is the default you can go through and uh, set it up uh, change these a little bit later the radio I'm using ham radio deluxe and before you start WSJTX make sure that uh, HRD is uh, is started um, and the rest of this I believe uh, was set as the default you can test the uh, cat connection I got a green light and then I can test uh, push to talk and uh, it keys my radio so I know that parts working uh, the audio tab, I've uh, got it set up for the USB audio codec, uh, input and output for the 7300. And uh, you can see I'm getting a waterfall here. There's there's no signals, but uh, I'm getting the waterfall. Uh, transmit macros, you can go through later and change uh, some of these if you like. But uh, the rest of this is, uh, is the default. And uh, the next uh, next thing you you want to do is uh, go to uh, my website or the WSJTX uh, web page. The link uh, I'll put down below, and uh, see how to set up the waterfall. Uh, you can set it up a little bit different for JT9 or JT65. Uh, I'm on JT65 right now, and uh, it's pretty helpful. It uh, 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 helped me uh, get started, so I'll, I'll put that link below. Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, open up uh, WSJTXJT Alert. Double click on it, 
and you have to have WSJT started first and uh, once this opens up I've been using it so there's already a call sign in there but uh, let's go to settings and uh, we want to set this up to log to uh, HRD log or if you use an AC log or one of the other logging programs uh, let's go in and set it up and on the left hand side you go down to logging and I'm going to choose HRD and you can if you're using version 5 version 6 uh, it'll work on either one uh, just select the version that you're using choose the uh, the log name and the rest of this will populate and uh, I went through and uh, I set up the alerts uh, just uh, quickly uh, what I wanted to do was I was looking for US states and uh, DXCC and continent so I have those three enabled uh, I had all of them enabled at first and, and it was getting pretty confusing uh, after I enabled those, I, I went down to uh, scan log and update. And uh, what this does is it scans your log and updates these alerts. So uh, if you've already, uh, say I'm looking to work all 50 states, if I've already worked California and Texas uh, in my log book, it will uh, update uh, JT alert. So uh, it won't alert me uh, for uh, those, those couple of states because I've already worked them. Uh, I made a couple of selections in here. I've enabled the scan and then no QSL information. I'm not concerned about that right now. So uh, these, three, these three that I'm looking for, and then I took the check marks off the rest of them. Then I hit uh, scan all, and it scanned my log. It did it pretty quickly. Uh, and uh, then it updated uh, my alerts. So uh, that worked really well. I don't think I, I went through and I, I updated some some of this. Uh, one of them that I that I like is the application and the auto start. Uh, I like to uh, start uh, WSJTX uh, when I start JT Alert, so uh, I don't have to uh, open both of these programs. So I, I selected start and close. And I went to the path for JT, uh, WSJTX, and uh, put that in there. And uh, I, I like uh, like doing it that way. And then you just hit OK. And uh, if you're, uh, let me minimize that. And if there were some signals coming through, you'd see the alerts like in the beginning of this video. All right, uh, please uh, yeah, visit my website, k0pir.us, and uh, there will be more information on there. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, make them below. Uh, you can also make comments or questions on my uh, website. So uh, thanks for watching. Happy Holidays, 73, and good DX.